month in November, I just wanted to make a thousand dollars. I feel anytime I start something, I'm like a thousand dollars. I just want to make a thousand dollars. And I ended up selling in November eighty thousand dollars. So I made about sixteen thousand dollars that month. And I was like, <gasps> What's going on guys? Today we have Jessica here. Jessica is an absolute TikTok shop all-star. She's been crushing it over there lately. Jessica, how are we doing today? Doing good, Mike. I'm so excited for this call. I've been waiting for it. <laughs> me too, me too. I want to kick things off and just hear a little bit about your TikTok shop journey. When did you get started? How long did it take you to kind of get the ball rolling? And then where are you at right now in terms of just like you know, how many products you're promoting, overall commissions and everything like that. Would love to hear what that journey has looked like for you. Yeah, definitely. So I started TikTok shop in November. It was like October 31st, literally. And I started promoting sweatshirts that I did not have. And so I would look at reviews and I basically just tapped into like nostalgia. I would put a video of like Taylor Swift or um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, like the 1960s movie. And then like, if you want, if you love this, then you need this type of thing. And so I started off like that because I wanted to make it simple. My whole thing was to simplify and make it easy and make content fun again for me. And so I started doing that. And within a week, I like got my first sale and I was like, oh, cool. Like, this, this is working, but then it went viral. And I was like, oh, I'm getting a lot of sales. And that month in November, I just wanted to make $1,000. I feel anytime I start something, I'm like, $1,000. I just want to make $1,000. And I ended up selling in November $80,000. So I made about $16,000 that month. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on? And so I kept the momentum going. And, but basically I started promoting other things that I wanted. I wanted a walking pad, a standing desk. I just, um, wanted the certain things. So I just started promoting those. And then December ended up like doubling. It was like 160,000, actually it was 180,000 in sales. Um, and so this month, January, I expected it to get a little slower, but I'm still at like 70,000 in sales. So, and I don't promote a ton of things. Um, the only time I do is when you request samples, you have to promote it. So yeah. And just like, I just kept it going. <laughs> that is so cool. So 16,000 in commissions, basically your first month. And then your second month, you go ahead and you double it. Uh, especially when you were just anticipating like thousand dollar months. So absolutely going crazy with the commissions in the first couple of months. Um, what was your account like when you started? Like, did you have a big account? Was it an account that you started brand new? Like where, where were you at your, your following on TikTok when you jumped with in? With that one, I had like 6,000 followers. It was my UGC teaching account. And I had not posted there in about a month because I decided to put everything together into one account. One TikTok account became overwhelming to have multiple accounts. And so I just switched from the last video I did was something about UGC. And then the next video was a sweatshirt. And I just made the switch. Like I didn't care because I felt like that account, I was still getting hits. I was still getting likes and things were still going, but it wasn't my focus. So I'm, it was around 6,000. So I have maybe 8,500 now. So you had about 6,000 followers. You make the switch to, you know, you're promoting TikTok shop items, sweatshirts in particular. How many videos did you have to make until you really started to see that traction? I think you said you got one sale. Next thing you know, you're going viral and you make 16,000 in commissions that first month. Like, what was that process like? Did you ever run into a wall or was it just like, boom, took off for you? Hey, real quick, if you are interested in getting onto TikTok shop, whether you're an existing content creator or you've never done content creation before, we have just launched our TikTok shop challenge. This is everything that you need to know about TikTok shop, step-by-step -step tutorials, how to get started and how to start earning consistent commissions. If you wanna join the challenge, I'm gonna leave a link somewhere below. We have some crazy prizes in there too, like a free ticket to our 2024 in-person mastermind event. I'm super excited with this. I've really never seen an opportunity like TikTok shop before, and I'm super excited to see you in there. Yeah, I did about 
with the sweatshirt type of videos, I was making about three to four videos a day. And because they were so easy, it was a screen recording and then a screenshot. And so, and then one black around black Friday came, I said, all right, I need to like really go hard on these videos. So I slowed down for like a little bit mid November. And then like right before black Friday, I picked up and I did about three to four videos a day. And at that point though, I was doing like the viral arched mirror, the standing desk. So there were edited videos. Um, I do have to say that being a UGC creator already creating content that way, I edit videos like this. Like I was at Thanksgiving dinner going post, <laughs> you know, it was so fast. And I mean, it's so, it's so easy. And so I was doing that. And then I created another TikTok shop account that was a brand new account. I, I want to mention this because people are like, oh, you can't create a brand new like account. That one, I posted five videos and I made a thousand dollars in a week. So, and that's a faceless account. So anyone can do this, truly. You don't have to be someone who knows video editing, a UGC creator, anything like that. That's so powerful. And then, yeah, it's something that we see a lot of uh, is people really needing to do more volume, right? It seems like TikTok shops kind of like a volume game and, and people are like, oh, I posted 10 videos and like, ah, oh, not much happened, but you're out here three, three to four a day uh, until you finally get one that, that goes crazy. In terms of your like, I would say, let's just talk about November, like that commission breakdown. Is it the case where like most of the commissions are coming from one or two videos that just went viral or is it pretty spread out for you? Like, what does that breakdown look like? It would be some viral videos. They're coming mainly from those. I made most of my commissions on like three products. That was like the bulk of my commissions. And then there was additional commissions on some other stuff. But the bulk of that was those products which I kind of knew would happen. I, I was strategic about that. <laughs> and then let's let's dig into that a little bit more. Like what was the kind of part that was strategic? Was it the product selection? Was it you just like, hey, I'm going to keep making videos with this until I get one viral? Like, can you talk about that strategy a little both. bit? Definitely both. So I was like, okay, I took, I replicated someone's formula for a different product on a product that I knew would go viral because it solved a problem. And I did the same formula and it went viral, it hit a million in a few days. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna go hard on this product. So when I, when I was filming, it was not actually strategic when I was doing it. I just tend to just film a lot and I go, we'll find the footage I want while I'm filming. So the next video that went viral, it's at like almost 10 million now, was my husband trying it out. And I literally called him into the room. He was making dinner. I said, hey, babe, try out this massager. And he tried it out. The kids are in the bathtub screaming. My son falls. I'm okay. It's chaos. And that went mega viral. <laughs> so people love authenticity, truly. They love it. <laughs> that's so cool. And yeah, that's something that we've seen a lot of too, where it's like, hey, you got to just put the volume out there and you're going for those big, those mega viral videos. And on top of that too, take, take what's already working out there, right? Do some research, find, like you said, the frameworks. You said, Hey, this, this kind of style went viral on this video. Let me try it for this product instead. I'll use a similar formula. And that's awesome. They've that seen a, a ton of success with that over the past couple months. Yes. It works. Do the, like, don't make it difficult. I literally go to the commissions. When you go to the product, click up. It shows you the viral videos typically. Sometimes it doesn't. But go replicate those. Even if they're in Spanish. Oh, man, the products aren't in Spanish. I'm like, if they're going viral in Spanish and not English yet, this is my opportunity. <laughs> so just replicate those videos. Like, that's what everyone does. People do it. Brands do it. You know, I think people are afraid they want to be unique. And I'm just like, don't reinvent the wheel. Just replicate what's working. <laughs> that, that's really cool to see. And there were two things that you said earlier that I thought were really, really cool and something that kind of, you know, gets a lot of, a lot of people tied up in the beginning. One, you said you were doing this without actually having the products. And then two, you said you also created another account that was faceless. So like, this is truly something that, anyone can do right even if you don't want to show your face even if you don't have like budget for the products um can you talk about how you were doing the uh the videos without even without even having the products 
Yes, yeah, so just green screen either behind me, and this is also testing. I would do a green screen behind me. I would do the green screen just like a block, like an overlay and pointing to it because TikTok shop rules state and they're always updating. So keep up to date with those rules. But it just states that you have to have to have the product on screen and that's it. And so a screenshot works. So even if you're getting the product because TikTok shop does take a while to ship items, you can still just pop it on screen. And that's it. So that's what I did. And sometimes I would have the product, but I would be outside playing with the kids. And so I just wanted to do a quick reply to comment video and I would just pop it on screen, just a screenshot. That's awesome. That's so cool. Um, I think you're probably inspiring a lot of people that are watching this right now, just hearing, okay, $16,000 in commission first month, didn't even need the product, creating a new account that doesn't even show her face. Like it just seems like to me, this is the best business model, even for like beginners to get into right now. Um, would you, would you agree with that? Yes. I feel a hundred percent is such an easy way to monetize as a content creator right now. It just doesn't, it requires very little skill. Truly there are people who are making viral videos in yellow lights, their, their overhead light and, and it's kind of dark. And like those videos are going viral. It's so easy right now. Jessica, are you seeing anything different right now versus back in, let's say, November? Like, have you changed any strategies at all? Or it's still kind of, hey, I'm going to keep using the same playbook. You know, we did 16,000 in commission, then we doubled it to 30. And like, this thing works, I'm keeping running with it. Or uh, are things a little bit different now? Have you had to update your strategy at all? I don't feel like I have had to update my strategy. The big difference, though, is that I receive a lot of samples and a lot of things from brands and something I didn't know, this would be great for people to know because I did not know this, is that when you request a sample um, from TikTok shop, you have to create videos within a certain time frame. So I had a lot of coupons and I requested a lot of samples last minute at the end of December. And then it was like, you've got to create all these videos for all these things. Now, my issue was that with that is that then I cannot focus on a strategy on creating multiple pieces of content for the videos because I'm just trying to get the videos out onto the platform. So just be aware of like the samples you're getting. Now, if you're just getting it from the brand, like they DM'd you something like that through email, that's different. They will be on top of you typically. But if you request a sample, like it can be overwhelming. So you have to create all these videos all of a sudden. So I feel like in January, I was just focused on trying to get content out and not focused so much on creating on creating multiple formats for a product, which is what I prefer to do. Gotcha. Yeah. And I think something else you can do, um, I don't know if this would be easier for you. For some people, it's way easier to go this method. But let's say, you know, you request a sample and then you have to get that post out. Uh, another way to check that box is by promoting it on a live. So you could go live with all the new products and like, okay, boom, 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 like promoted all of them. For some people that's way easier for some people that's harder. Um, but another question for you, you know, along these lines of, Hey, I wish I would have known this earlier. Are there any other things that you want to share with someone who's maybe they just started their, uh, TikTok shop affiliate journey. And you're like, Hey, definitely do this. Definitely do this. Watch out for this. Anything that you would have wish you known a couple months ago i i knew this but i feel like definitely don't say dupe <laughs> ever for anything and you cannot repost content again on the same platform on the same account or a different accounts and it used to be that you can change the hookup and like the cta no you need to create a new video which does make it i feel a bit more difficult to test because i can't just take the same video of me and put pov when da 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 um voiceover i can't do that i have to create a new video and i have to be aware of my location if it was in bed i've got to move somewhere else so just make sure that you're constantly just creating different types of videos and and make sure you're showing the product at least in the first five seconds i think a lot of people do get away with showing it later in the video i would not do that i would show it in the first three to five seconds green screen pop up or in hand because I've seen people get violations and TikTok does not make sense with the violations. You have 24 points and they're like all 24 points gone. 
you're banned <laughs> from TikTok shop for not showing the product early in the video. So show the product early, don't post the same content and don't say dupe. Really, really, really good advice there because we've seen similar stuff too, where people just get violations like left and right out of nowhere. And it seems to not make sense. Uh, and then the TikTok support is really not the best. Like I assume they're getting so many of these requests. It seems like it just kind of goes to like a bot or whatever. And like, they almost don't even look at it. Uh, that's something that we're working on right now is getting like a dedicated TikTok support rep to like really go in and like help people with any of these violations. Because what they do too, I don't, I'm not sure if you've had any violations yet, but like they'll even tell you directly. They say, Hey, you just got X number of violation points. We're going to suppress your traffic. Like they straight up say, Hey, we're giving you less traffic now. Have you run into any of the violations? No, no I ran into it one time when I did, I repost the same content. It was actually a little bit different and they took off the violation surprisingly, but then that video was suppressed like a hundred percent, but the account wasn't suppressed. So I was like, Oh my gosh, thank goodness the account wasn't suppressed. But definitely, um, I also am starting to work with an agency and they have told me, they're like, if you think you're not talking to anyone, you're not. They're bots. You're talking to no one. So it's either like you being someone who has hired someone who can get into TikTok and be support to people for um, people who work with you or however that works or have been part of an agency where someone can speak for you is the way to get those violations removed. Yeah, and it's something that, I don't know, I, I think a lot of TikTok shop creators get really worried about, you know, because they'll they'll be crushing it, you know, 10,000 plus per month. And then like, it's literally just like a couple violations away and it's just like no traffic. Like I've seen, uh, not personally, but you've probably seen on Twitter too, some people that will just get like a crazy amount of violation points out of nowhere. And like, it's, you know, not the end of the world if it's a new account, because I guess you can just go create a new one. But if it's let's say an account like yours, that is just absolutely crushing it. Uh, that can definitely be something that's a, that's a little scary. So yeah, to everyone out there, please go read the rules. Do not violate anything because they're becoming more and more strict with this. They are on both sides, the seller side as well. So it's not just us creators. And I get it because it's, you know, we're safe as creators because a brand can't take our video, strip it and post it somewhere or use it as an ad. You know, so that's what they're trying to prevent, except they're also preventing it from us creators trying to just test content. <laughs> Jessica, for anyone that's watching this, they're a new creator, they're thinking about getting on TikTok shop, they're making the jump. Do you have any like just step-by-step -step advice for someone that's new uh, and they really want to get started with the TikTok shop journey? Yeah, like, so one is, I feel like people still don't know this. You do not need 5,000 followers make a business account and just connect TikTok shop. Now I do want to say I have had people run into problems. My own husband got a violation, this random violation. He was like, um, basically he couldn't do anything for a month. And so I said, let's just wait for the month before we make a new account. And then the violation went away. So I do feel like when I started in November, it was like easy. It was quick. I got a yes in five minutes to be a TikTok shop um, creator or a seller. You're a TikTok shop seller when you create a business account, but you are acting as a creator posting content. And so um, I do feel though now in January, there has been glitches in the system. Um, some people can't upload their ID. Some people can't do anything. They have to start a whole new TikTok account. They're getting these random violations when they set up an account. It's taking five days to get approved. So just know that I feel like they are updating things in the back end. They definitely are. Um, but just create a different account. Just do a new account. Okay. If you run into issues, do a new account. I feel like the biggest thing with people is that just don't try different things. I'm like, try a new solution. Um, so do that. Uh, when you start an account, you're going to get coupons. They want you to buy. So you can definitely buy things, but please don't buy like the Miyoki cup. I have literally been told to stay away from that because people get violations on it all the time. Go and buy something that has less than 10,000 sales that doesn't have a lot of viral videos and that solves a problem very simply something that you could do POV type of video very easy video 
Um, a lot of people make the mistake of buying things that they want. I did the same thing. Um, make sure it has a lot of um, stock. So you want to see a thousand or more, really. Um, because you make a video and it goes viral and they sell out and they have to close shop, your commissions drop. So doing those things and yeah, and just, just post the content. Just like, it doesn't have to look good. It really doesn't. It could just, just you with the phone, like, Hey, da, 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 talking about it. Just keep posting content. And even if you're not getting sales, you keep posting. Like, how bad do you want it? How uncomfortable are you where you're at now? You know, is that more uncomfortable than just posting a ton of videos? Probably not. You're probably doing TikTok shop because you want to make money. So you need to see everyone who's making money and watching this and watching me. I'm a mom of three kids in Georgia homeschooling. Like I'm a regular person. Like my pants are pajama pants on right now. Okay. Like I'm a normal person and you can do this too. This is a possibility for you. Everyone you see in your life is a pattern, a proclivity or a possibility. This is a possibility. So you just do it. You keep going. Wow. That was motivating. We're going to have to clip that last part right there and make that its own little individual video. That was awesome. Um, I know people that are watching this probably just got a little fired up. Jessica, where can we send the viewers to follow you, learn a little bit more about you? I know you also have your own uh, TikTok shop, either membership or program. If you want to plug that right now, let the viewers know where they can uh, find more about Thank you. So I am on Instagram at I am Jessica Parada. So just my name, I am. I am very active on there with stories and DMs. So you can really get to know me on there. And then my membership is Soft Hustle Club, where I teach TikTok shop, UGC, just everything at $33 a month. I've had a lot of different offers. I have been an entrepreneur for eight years with offers. And I just really want to have get people in the door with making money as a creator. So my big passion is going to be for parents moms and dads. It was moms at first, but I'm tracking a lot of dads or people who like just want to be able to do what they want. They're tired of like working the nine to five. They're kind of tired of hustling. So that's why I called it the soft hustle because I want you to be able to make money while also enjoying your life because people are just trading shackles for golden shackles as an entrepreneur. Like you don't want to do that. I've done it before. And you don't have to. You can make passive income on TikTok shop, post the videos, and then make money later and get it going. And you'll always have support. We have a WhatsApp, a private IG, a circle. Like, we, it's just a beautiful community. There's so much support there. So if you're interested in that, go to www.jessicaparada.com or just DM me on Instagram. And I'm happy to talk to you. Guys, go check it out. Go give her a follow. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet Jessica a few months ago. She is the real deal. Jessica, this was an incredible interview. I know the listeners got a ton of value out of this one. Appreciate you doing this a ton. And for everybody watching, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.